Hey, what's up, everybody? Infinite PC Gaming here, back with another video for you guys. About a while back, I ran some benchmarks with my Intel i3-6100 and 1050Ti setup, and someone had asked me, well, they made a comment on this website I go to, uh, shout out to Boxton, and they said, you know, your benchmark seemed a little, the numbers seemed a little bit high. Did you run it on your monitor, or did you run it on your 4K TV? Me, being the troll I am, I never answered him, and I just let him wonder. But basically what this video is going to show is what the actual difference is between running it on a 1080p uh, monitor, or in this case is a 1080, this is a 32-inch 1080p uh, Samsung TV. And you can see that right here, it says Samsung, it's 1080p. And I have the Samsung KS8000, 55-inch uh, 4K TV uh, that I'll also show you guys um, playing on 4K native. Just to show you guys what exactly, what, what difference, FPS and performance difference, do you really see when you're between downsampling and running it at native, uh, native resolutions. So for this one, like I said, this is only a, this is a 1080p TV. And like I said, 10, uh, 1080p, do you know how many times I'm going to say it? A Samsung. So, all right, as you see right there, hopefully you see it. GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. And what I'll do is I'll uh, boot up Battlefield. We'll get into this. <clears throat> I'm just going to do everything all live. That way, you know, you guys realize I'm not bullshitting you or anything. Hopefully all these numbers are coming up. Right now this is uh, sitting at 1080p. Hopefully I have no problems playing the game. You know how it be when you're not online. All taps problems. This game is always personalizing the experience for me. I guarantee I'm gonna have to redo the first mission again. Right, so options, video. 1080p, um, V-Sync is off, advanced, running right there on Ultra, GPU memory restrictions off, so uh, let's see what this, thing, okay cool, and what I'll do is I'll just go right to Through Mud and Blood, this is actually, this is where I, um, I do all my benchmarks for this game. So as you can see, I'm averaging 200 FPS during the loading screen. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just trolling. Okay. I'm just gonna use the uh, 360 controller. Have you seen anything like this? <clears throat> I have. I'm sorry to say. Listen, we're going to come down to the guns on by that windmill. I'm also running in DX11 as well. Because, uh, as we know, NVIDIA doesn't do too well with, with uh, DX12. <clears throat> I am a master and expert in this stage. I have played it multiple times. I know all the shortcuts. Skirt! Right there. Watch out for the mud. Look at that. Boom. Leaning on him. And typically around this mark is where a minute ends and then I just restart it. So let's uh, restart. I'll change the resolution to 1440. Okay, hopefully 
uh, everything on the top left is still focused. Sitting at 42, uh, 42 uh, RPMs, oh my god. <laughs> 42 FPS. Uh, you know what, my bad. You know what I'm going to do? I, I need to turn off the, the music because... Simply because I can already hear the copyright strikes coming. There we go. And that's how I can hear it. Moving on up. Told you I'm the, I'm the master at this stage right now, slicing and dicing like this mug. Mm -hmm. okay. I wish I had some boost in this uh, in this tank, but. Is what it is. All right, so uh, we're averaging around in the 30s or so, I believe. Oh my gosh, I really wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we are going to uh, 4K. There we go. Uh, hopefully, I'm really hoping that that's still coming in. It should be. Sitting at a 22 FPS right there. 24. Oh, not 22. 22.4, right there. I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry this is all in Ultra as well, so. You know, my playing at 30 FPS, you probably just drop a, you know, a bunch of settings. Like, uh, honestly, I would, I would uh, turn it up maybe depth of field, motion blur. Not, a, I've never been a big fan of motion blur at all. Uh, shadows can get turned down. Seventeen FPS. Uh, so that's eighteen right there. That's not good. Okay, eighteen FPS. Yeah, so we're like just averaging around seventeen, eighteen. Uh, that's really it. Uh, just almost hit nineteen right there. Oh my God, you're only recording the video. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. 17. This is what happens when you try to play a game. Then we'll go again. Alright, so basically 17, 18 FPS right there. Uh, what we've seen in the 30s or so with the last one. I have to recheck, so I'm just going to probably uh, overdub dub over this. So this is how it is on a Samsung 1080p TV. I'm going to switch on over to the KS8000 and show you guys how it is on uh, on a native TV. Alright, so here we are back again on the Samsung KS8000 now. Show you the desktop resolution. Hopefully you guys can see it right there. Native 4K. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Alright, so we're just going to hop right into Battlefield 1. Sitting at uh, we're we're doing 1080p right now, right there 1080p, ultra. So uh, let's get into this campaign again. My father told me how to do this. My granddad fought in the Civil War. 
still getting that 200 FPS in the in the menu or the loading screen, I should say. All right, so in game, as you guys see. Of course, this is a 1080p, so it should be the normal, normal FPS. Alright, so uh, let's restart from the checkpoint and go to 1440p. Alright, so as you can see, same FPS as last time. Let's go back and uh, check out native 4K. And again, as you can see, 19, 20 FPS, same as last time from the downsampling, DSR.
Uh, so there you have it folks, the difference between running a native 4K and a DSR 4K or 1440p, native 1440p, whatever, is uh, pretty minimal, 3 to 5 frames per second. So, you know, if you're in the market for a 1440p monitor or a 4K monitor and you want to see what your graphics card can do, just go ahead and use that DSR if you're on NVIDIA or use the VSR if you're on AMD and you'll be able to see what kind of performance you get without wasting any time looking for benchmarks for your GPU. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry about the quality of the uh, the video and my sound early on the video, but uh, it is what it is. So hope you guys like the video. Please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.